Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary Retro Packaging Action Figure of the Sand Person, or Tusken Raider, what have you. Now, I don't know if you've seen any of my other Star Wars Black Series figure reviews, but if you have, if you're familiar with that content, then you'll know that I hate cloth on plastic action figures. But every once in a while, Hasbro does it kinda right. Kylo Ren did it right, and I think this Tusken Raider did it right. Uh, it's a thin enough fabric that it kinda hangs alright, it doesn't fluff out and get super bulky, which is my number one complaint about it. Also, this fabric has some decent texture to it. It's got some good wrinkles. It kind of reads like how it does in the movie. Um, and it doesn't really conflict too much with the plastic sculpting of the rest of the figure, so that's nice. Um, it's interesting that, you know, it kind of tucks in, at least out of the package, all around into the kind of plastic edge of this. Um, the, the sculpting of the, the wrapped feet looks good. There's some nice texture to those feet, and the sculpt of the wraps looks good. I like the dark wash that highlights the, the nooks and crannies of the sculpt. Speaking of nooks and crannies, uh, I like the texture of the main kind of tunic. Uh, I like texture in action figures. I like when people can replicate fabric in plastic form, and this does a good job with that. Now, the, uh, the center section there, a little uh, cross belt looks good, a little gold paint within it. Very nice. Uh, yeah, and same thing with the pouches on the belt there. A little dirty wash to the uh, the light brown adds a little leathery effect. All the little gold kind of like snaps, rivets look good. Um, articulation on this, despite you know not being able to see all of it, there is some pretty good articulation. The uh, the feet have the hinged swiveling ankles. There is a double knee joint up there and a mid thigh twist or mid thigh cut, and then I think it's like the the little ball hinged uh, parts of the thigh. Or like the upper thigh, like the waist, whatever. Not the waist, but you know, the top of the leg. What impresses me the most is the uh, the mid-torso. There is an actual mid-torso ball joint in there, so that's nice. Uh, I didn't think there would be, but it's it, it, the, the sculpt, uh, you know, kind of goes and looks like it tucks in behind the belt there, and that is where the, uh, the, the cut is, so that's cool. There are ball-hinged shoulders. Uh, there is no bicep cut, but there is a swiveling and hinged elbow. Same thing with swiveling and hinged wrists. The wrists hinge in and out, not up and down. And then the head does have a uh, ball joint inside the head and a uh, hinge that comes forward and back at the base of the neck. So yeah, the, the sculpt on the head is really good too. It's probably one of my favorite things about this figure. Uh, we'll go in for a closer look here, just so you can see like how well done the head is. There's a great sculpt of the wrap around the head. The mouth area looks great. Um, not just the outer brown edge, but the darker inner brown edge, and also that little bit of a, a wash to kind of two-tone the brown effect in there. Uh, silver paint is good, especially in the eye, little socket tube areas. Uh, it's a great sculpt. Really does read like the Tuscan Raider as it should. Um, and the little the neck dingus also looks quite good. So I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. One of the things I really like is you get three different gaffy sticks. Um, you start with this base and you can plug in like which version of it that you want. Uh, one little bummer is out of the package, this came a little bent. Oh well. Um, you can plug in what I consider to be the main end. You know, you see this one used when like Luke is fighting with the sand person. But they do include some of the other ones, like one of the other people in the tribe in A New Hope, like when they're carrying Luke to the Lance Beater, has this one in it. And then uh, this one, which is also briefly seen in A New Hope, um, is also there. I prefer the main one that I showed you first, but the fact that they included multiple ones that are seen in you know, production photos and briefly in the movie, I think that's a really cool touch on Hasbro's part to include all of them. So props to Hasbro for that. Also included is this uh, sand person rifle in case you want to like you know pose and be shooting out pod racers on the uh, on the track dark brown with some little black and silver paint very well painted my thumb was covering up the little sniper thing uh, good sculpt there to the, the little wooden texture that's a really nice touch the little wood surface that is awesome here's a quick shot of it holding the rifle and next I'll try to put it with the gaffy stick above its head. One thing worth noting is when you kind of spread the arms apart, you do get a sense of the fabric kind of draping out a bit, because there's a lot of fabric. Um, 
like there's not an individual sleeve, it's all kind of connected. It's stitched in under the edge of where the sleeve is, but it's all connected and just sort of pinched there, which is a good look. Um, but you know, it might limit just how much range you get unless you kind of move the uh, fabric up along the sleeve a bit. But I'm going to try to put his arms up, and then through the magic of editing, we'll see if I can get the gaffy stick in his hand. Hey, that worked out pretty good, and the arms and hands do raise up high enough that it does, you know, go above his head and look good, so that's awesome. Uh, the, the, the rest of the fabric does flare out quite a bit and gets untucked from the bottom uh, when he put his arms that high, but I still think it looks pretty good that way. Like, I'm really happy with how this turned out. As a fan of Sand People, this Sand Person, Tuscan Raider, uh, Sand Whatever, uh, looks great. I'm really happy with it, especially for a fabric figure. Well, some fabric. The uh, the rest of the little sculpted outfit under there looks pretty good. I love the sculpt. I love the paint. This is great. So thanks for watching, everybody. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want. I don't know.